Hi, this is Ian Lamont from In 30 Minutes Guides, and today I'm going to be talking about Google Forms and how to customize a success message on a Google Form. If this video helps, please take a moment to like it and follow me, and let's get started. So I have this very simple uh, quiz going on. I created it in, in Google Forms, and let's see what happens when I answer the questions, um, you know, or the wrong answers. But one thing that it says here, it says your response has been recorded. And this is like the default text on every single Google Form but it's possible to change it, and here's how to do it. So open up the form uh, in Google Forms. So this is the editing mode for the form. You can see the questions and stuff like that. Here, it says settings. If you scroll down, you'll find a section that says presentation. Select that little downward pointing arrow next to it, and you'll see it says after submission, a confirmation message your response has been recorded. We want to change that. Okay, so maybe what I can do here is click edit and change it to something else. So thank you. Thanks for taking the quiz. That typing. <laughs> um, please expect to discuss the results So you can use this type of response, a very simple one. If you want to, you can copy and paste text into there. There may be a limit on how much text you can put there. And importantly, you can also put in a URL. So for instance, if I wanted to put in the um, URL for my company, I would do it this way. So people could click on that and, and find out more information about you know the quiz or something like that. There's no automatic redirect, so you can't do anything like that, but you can, you can add a URL to give people more more uh, options. So this is just a basic way to change the success page on the form so it doesn't look so boring like this particular one. If this video helped you out, please take a moment to uh, follow me and like the video. And also go to in30minutes.com to check out my book, Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes. It also covers Google Forms. It's really kind of to educate people on the basics of this particular book. It's now in its third edition and I uh, hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching.